my channel. Today, I'm sitting in a different area. Can you even tell? Do you care? Does anyone still watch this anymore? Who knows? Is it officially fall? It's October, which means it's fall. I thought to get into the fall spirit, I would make some apple cider donuts. We're just gonna chat like friends here. I'm gonna just tell you what I'm doing as I'm doing it in the other clips. Kind of like the Kardashian, doing their confessional and like talking about what's happening. I can't believe Courtney is saying this right now. This is my Kardashian confessional about donuts. Get ready, about to spill the tea or the dough. <sighs> wow, killer joke. Also, before I dive into it, you guys can get the full recipe linked on my blog. Click it. And also, while you're down there, subscribe. I mean, it's okay if you don't. I totally, totally get it. I wouldn't subscribe either. But bad to say. No, I'm kidding. So obviously, with apple cider donuts, the first thing I started with is apple cider. I just bought some apple cider from Trader Joe's. Hashtag not spawn. Hashtag totally open to a sponsorship, by the way, or Whole Foods. Sorry, I'll stop being needy. Just poured two cups of apple cider into a saucepan over medium high heat. Then I just whisked it until it reduced down to about half of its size, two cups to one cup. Math. Unagi. So it's a, uh, did I write the word down? A reduction? Yeah! <laughs> Now I set that aside to cool completely and then I moved on to the dry ingredients. And in a big mixing bowl I added my flour, my brown sugar, my salt, baking soda, baking powder, and then my spices, which are cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, and allspice. Whisk is the hardest word to say. Now in a smaller bowl I whisk together my wet ingredients, which are eggs, vanilla, melted butter, which is cooled down. Also adding our cooled apple cider. Cool your liquids. <laughs> so then I stirred the wet into the dry until it was just fully combined. And then I covered it and put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour. The dough's really sticky, so I wanted to make sure that it was ready to be handled. So after about half an hour, I pulled my dough out of the refrigerator and I rolled it out to about half an inch thick. And then I took these donut cutter things that I got on Amazon. You're crafty, you're innovative, you have Pinterest, you could find other ways without actually using a donut cutter, but I used it. Plus, you have the little one in the middle so you can make donut holes too. my oil into a Dutch oven. You could use a deep fryer if you have one. And for this, you're gonna to wanna to use a neutral, unflavored oil that has a high smoking point. I personally just prefer vegetable oil. I needed my oil to heat up to 325 degrees, so while I was waiting for that to heat up, I moved on to making my toppings for the donuts. The, 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 the accoutrements. Accoutrements. I couldn't decide if I wanted to have a glazed donut or a sugary donut, so I decided to go for both topping options. I wanted to keep the glaze really simple for this, so I just took the same spices that I used in the donuts for the glaze. So it's just a basic powdered sugar, vanilla, water base, and then with the spices added into it. Then the other topping is super basic, just cinnamon sugar, which as you guessed it, guess what's in it? Mind blown. Once my oil was heated to 325, I started gently placing my donuts into the oil. And if you crowd them with too many, the temperature of the oil will drop. So I kept mine between four and five donuts at a time. Don't get burned by oil. Just don't die and blame me. Don't blame me, my podcast. Link down below. Ooh. So I cooked the donuts about a minute on each side. You can tell when they're ready to flip over once they rise to the surface. And you can start to see a little bit of like golden brown. Once I saw the golden brown little rimy crust thing on the bottom, I flipped them over, cooked them for about another minute, and then using the same slotted spoon, I moved them over very close by. Like keep it close by. Don't walk around with like a hot donut and like a ladle thing. Like you, that's that's like legitimately a weapon in the Hunger Games. It's not, it's not a weapon at all in the Hunger Games. I had a pan that was lined with paper towels so it catches the extra oil and I placed them all on there. Once I finished cooking all of the regular donut shaped donuts, not to discriminate against any other donuts, you're all donuts. They're just other donuts that are shaped, not like the holy donuts. I moved on and I made the donut holes. It's a little bit quicker of a process, so don't get distracted or walk away or do anything that I do when I make popcorn and then suddenly I realize that I forgot to put a lid on it and the entire house is filled with popcorn. Way more dangerous than Colonel's. Colonel Sanders. Once I finished frying all of the donuts and they were cool enough to handle, I moved on to adding the toppings. So half I coated in the cinnamon sugar and then the other half I either dunked in the glaze or drizzled with the glaze. And now, 
because we got so much sexy footage of these babies. Enjoy it to some probably pornographic music I'm going to use. Pornographic seems very explicit. I should have said like porno music, but like pornographic music. <laughs> it sounds like the music is pornographic. Enjoy these sexy shots of these glazy drip drips to some sexy soothing sounds of some royalty free tunes. Roll the clip, Jeeves. There's no Jeeves. Don't turn into Dick Paul. We already have too much in common. Uh, I'm trying one of Megan's delicious cinnamon sugar donut holes. No, oh, babe, you don't even know what they are. Good God. You've been here all day. That's what they are. Donut holes. But what kind of flavor of donut? Cake. Oh. <laughs> apple cider. Apple cider. I'm trying an apple cider donut hole. But I said cinnamon sugar because it's covered with cinnamon sugar. And I'm logical. First time I've ever made fried donuts. Wow. Good? No, I'm not surprised I had so much faith the in you. The consistency, the consistency on the cake is so good. Are you gonna try one with the glaze? Pick an ugly one. Uh, this one's pretty ugly. Pick the most beautiful, most iced one. Same. Just same, bro. Really good. Am I the best? You're definitely the best baker ever. What? No, you're supposed to say I'm the fucking best. You're the best. <laughs> There you guys have it, apple cider donuts. If you guys liked this video, please be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, and if you recreate these donuts or any sort of baked good or anything you want to see a picture of, keep it PG-13. No, Rose, what are you gonna send me? I don't know. Send me a dick and a pie. Oh my god, that's your brand. It's my brand, Dicks and Pie. Oh my god, if I had a bakery, Dicks and Pie. <laughs> dicks in pies, Dick and Pie. Pie Dick. Pick. I don't know how we got here. <laughs> Where am I? Use the hashtag Baking with Megan so I can stalk all of your faces. Adios, fuckers. Can I be my outro? Adios, fuckers. <laughs> Happy baking. Bye, guys. I like big, tiny donut. Oops. What? Can I try one? No. Why not? Because they're scalding hot. You can use one. Okay, don't. Can you be patient? No! Oh, yeah! I could do an entire compilation of me going. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Um.